everybody, my name is Bo Phillips. I'm with the St. John's County Chamber of Commerce, and I'm here today with Jim McCarthy of the North Florida Land Trust and Jen Lobeck, Matanzas Riverkeeper, and we're at the Agricultural and Environmental Council. Uh, I just wanted to thank you guys for coming out today, presenting. We talked a lot about conservation easements today. Can you tell us a little bit about what those are? Sure. So a conservation easement is a voluntary legally binding agreement between a landowner and either a government agency or a non-government organization that specifically attempts to protect certain conservation values associated with the particular parcel. And there's a lot of, lot of areas that would be uh, uh, possible to have a conservation easement in St. John's County. Why is it important here in St. John's County? Conservation easements are highly variable. They can be used to protect completely untouched, pristine natural areas, or they can be used to protect agricultural lands that have historically been used for farming. So there are a lot of different uses that conservation easements can be utilized for, and there are a lot of financial incentives that are associated with those conservation easements. I know that's something that was interesting that, that you guys touched on today during the presentation, things that I didn't think about that could benefit from them as agricultural in, in infrastructure specifically. Can you touch a little bit on agricultural systems? Because we have so much agriculture here in St. John's County. Yeah, so Florida has the Rural and Family Lands Program, which specifically is geared towards funding conservation projects on farms and ranch lands and um, silviculture lands. And that's really great because you have these farmers where it might be cost prohibitive for them to keep this land in their family and keep using it the way they've been using it without having an option like a conservation easement that could benefit them financially. Mm -hmm. Well, and I thought, Jim, uh, you talk, touched on something that was very interesting today. You said that you guys aren't against development. You guys sure. are not anti-development. So you can talk right. a little bit about that and tell them what you, what you mean by that? Sure, sure can. We'd love to. Yes, we're not opposed to development. We support conservation. So that's our focus of our activities particularly the conservation easements, we look for ways actually to help developers solve their environmental problems. A uh, number of them have come to us with surplus uh, uh, wetlands that they uh, bought for mitigation purposes that they no longer need. So they, some will donate them to them, some will sell to us. We prefer the donations to the sales, but, but nonetheless we'll accept both. Uh, so we, uh, we do work with developers in that fashion. And we're also working with them on, on how to develop more wisely so that we can protect the very things that people are moving here to enjoy. That's our natural resources. I mean, if you, any, any study you do in any of the five counties in this part of the state, the reason people live here is for their natural resources. 84% of the people say that that's the reason they moved here. And so it's, a, it's an overwhelming importance to everybody. So let's protect it. Conservation easements is one of those tools. You can sell them through the rural and family lands or you can donate them and take the tax advantages of, of donating. Uh, we'll certainly be willing to help them along that lines as well. And some developers have actually uh, thought about that idea in terms of easements and what we might be able to do as well. So particularly when they have large uh, areas of preservation lands in their development. Well, I just certainly want to thank you guys very much for joining us here at the a and Council. And uh, I want to actually bring in Bruce now, if you guys could, you guys could just step out. Sure. I want to bring in Bruce Hallett now. Uh, Bruce is with Matanzas Geosciences. He's also the program chair at the Agricultural and Environmental Council. Uh, Bruce, uh, tell us a little bit about what the Agricultural and Environmental, Environmental Council is doing. Our council uh, has been formed for about six or seven years and we focus on environmental and agricultural issues associated with our county. So we bring in speakers like we had today to talk about important issues that face our county. Uh, the second part of that is that we also uh, advocate for um, certain uh, county or even state related legislation that may change um, either protection or, or give some contributions to these two different uh, uh, business lines in our county. And you guys meet every other month, right? We meet every other month and the, the venue changes from uh, uh, month to month. We've been here at Ameris uh, today. Uh, next week we could be down at uh, First Coast Technical College. We typically, when we meet there, we typically get a very good lunch because that's a uh, cultural, uh, a culinary institute. Well, I want to thank you very much for all the work you do with the council, and uh, we hope to see you guys at uh, Agriculture and Environmental Council in January.